How's it going people, Sam is Lab here, and this is RS Tech. We're going to be taking a look at how we can improve your lag and stuff within a Mac system. And we're going to be looking at modifying the browser as well as the client both at the same time. Now as you can see, I am not on a Mac. I don't actually own a Mac, but I do know how to change it on there. So hopefully you're kind of familiar with your own operating system, I really do hope you are. It's fairly straightforward nonetheless and it's a step by step instruction so you really shouldn't have too much problems. I do have an image as well to kind of show what it should technically look like roughly on your system as well. As I don't use a Mac I'm not sure how much it, it varies but the main steps are exactly the same no matter what. So with that said, let's get into it then. So the first thing you want to do is modify in the browser and this is absolutely straightforward. All you need to do is simply go to go at the top of your screen and go to your applications. Then go into utilities which will be at the bottom of the window if I'm right. And then simply click Java preferences. So once Java preferences is open, all you need to do is select, uh, select the general tab and then highlight the Java version at the top of the top box and simply click options. And in here you just simply add minus capital X MX 512 M. And then simply click apply and OK and close your browser if it was open and reopen it and then try playing RuneScape through the browser. In a nutshell, all this does is you've gone into Java and you've basically told it, by the way Java, if you're going to be running then simply use 512 megabytes worth of RAM or up to 512 megabytes worth of RAM. Now if this is anything like a Windows version you can change this number on the browser. For some reason the client if you raise it any higher than 512 it starts going spastic and really really doesn't like it. For example it'll force you to play in safe mode and you cannot use OpenGL or DirectX or simply it just won't open. But the browser, however, on the Windows, you can set that up to whatever you want, although I highly recommend not exceeding 50% of your total RAM. So if you've got 2K, uh, 2 gig RAM, then don't throw it anywhere over 1000 meg. You know? It's really that simple. Just don't exceed 50%. The reason for that is your PC actually does need to run other things in the background whilst you're playing RuneScape, so yeah. Either way, it's Applications, Utilities, Java Preferences, click on the General tab, Go down to the options and then enter this little code minus xmx 512m at the minimum 512 will do you perfectly fine runescape really doesn't use a huge amount of ram you can raise that up if you do have a lot of ram though uh, one gig will do perfectly fine and that's pretty much it you just press apply okay done and you've just modified your browser so it uses more ram so all in all part one complete without really trying to be honest like you know what i mean so there we go that's modifying the browser on your mac so now this one's a little bit more complicated simply because I can't show you. Uh, it works similar to the Linux systems though so I've got a general idea of how it would actually work on a Mac so let's get into it then. So this is allocating more memory to Java whilst using the client. So this is a little bit different just like it was on the Windows system. So this is for the official client, let's get into it. First of all you want to open your terminal and if you don't know where terminal is, it's basically the command prompt on Windows. And you can do that from, I think it's go, then applications, is it? And that takes you towards your terminal. Basically open that up, and then you want to go and type this following command. And this does assume that the official RuneScape client is located within your applications folder. If you decided to save your RuneScape client in a different folder, then you simply need to find it wherever the hell you actually put it. So basically you type nano and then space forward slash applications forward slash runescape dot app forward slash contents forward slash info dot pl list. So this I will put in the description so you should be able to find it there so you can simply copy and paste it rather than do all this nonsense. But if for example you saved it somewhere other than your applications then this little line here is going to be different for you. So you need to find where you actually saved it and well type in the code for it that way it's fairly straightforward it's basically windows explorer it's the equivalent of what i did on windows s where it was app data and then user and all the rest of the crap so yeah hopefully you understand that i can't really explain it because i don't use a mac unfortunately but it's as simple as that you basically go to where you installed the runescape app or runescape client itself and then you want to find this particular file 
info.plist. This is the file we're going to be modifying. So once you're here and you've typed in that terminal code, you will then open up the file with all the Java settings. That's that info.pl list. So once you've got it open, scroll down to the bottom of the file and you should see something along the lines of this. This is going to vary person to person, it seems, as I've been looking it up to see if there's any kind of variance. But the first letters or the first words in each of these kind of tags, so key VM options dot PBC, that should be the perhaps there'll be something after it. Same deal with the strings. So string XMX5256, you might have some stuff after that. That's no problem, don't worry about it. But first things first, to change the amount of RAM the client's using is you want to find these strings here. The strings are saying minus XMX and then it'll have a number and then end in M. There should be three of them all together. All you need to do is change these things. Now on the Windows system at least, or the very least on my system, if I exceed 512 when I'm editing the amount of RAM the client can use, as I said, it forces safe mode or simply doesn't open. Although from what I've read, apparently it's possible to make it higher within the Mac system. So you're welcome to try putting something like 1024, which is one gig of RAM, if you so wish. But I'm fairly certain 512 will guarantee work on every system. I'm unaware whether or not the one gig will work, so if you want to try and expand it further, then yeah, pop those in. But just so you know, not my fault if stuff starts going a bit mental and it goes into safe mode. If it does, then it's fairly simple to actually change. You just come back to the infill PL list and then you change these down to 512. It's really that easy to modify it. By the way, change these XMX settings to 512. That's my recommendation. It saves you from faffing about later on. And, well, in a nutshell, you've just allocated more RAM to the client. Good times. Now, on the Windows one, you could also add an SSL connection as well as multi-threading. I'm not aware of how to add the SSL connection within Mac, but the multi-threading is possible. And it's this line here. I will put these into the description just below the video, so you can simply copy and paste them. So these lines, I'll hopefully be able to show you if I can find the image. And these are here. It sh your window should look something a little bit like this. So this is your info.plist. I'm sorry, it's kind of really crap resolution, but yeah, it's a picture. What can I say? I don't own Mac. So this is what we're talking about right here with the key VM options. There's this little line here. So you've got key VM options.ppc. That's the first one. And then just like in the example, you've got string XMX256M. Now in this little thingy here, it just ends at that. Whereas you can see in this example, there's actually a bunch of code after it. It's no problem at all. So in order to modify the multi-threading, imagine this 256 is actually 512 because you've already done this little step. There's three of them. Straight after it, you might have this random crap here. But the things you want to delete and copy and paste over is starting from here. Whereas minus XX, disable explicit GC, and then covers aggressive ops, use adaptive GC boundaries, and this and this and this, and eventually ends with use parallel GC. In a nutshell, you want to delete it from the end of parallel GC all the way up to the beginning of this right here, right next to true. So you want to delete all of these XX or whatever, whatever things. Simple as that. As soon as they're deleted, all you simply need to do then is come down to the description in the bottom and you'll see these lines here. And you simply need to copy and then paste these options where you just deleted those other XX blah blahs. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I would show you, but yeah, I'm gonna mark. So this is all I can do, sorry about that. So delete these up to there and paste in the six, which you found in the video description and do exactly the same on all three of the strings. So exactly the same thing here. You delete from here all the way down to the parallel GC and paste the new six lines of code. And it's the same thing here, exactly the same on every single one of them. You just paste it over. And as soon as you've done that on all three and the XMXs and all three are now 512 M's, You've just added 512 meg of RAM to your client and you've just also added partial multi-threading ability to your client as well. 
So that's it. That's all I got for you. I don't have the SSL because I don't know what it actually is in a Mac system. So yeah, if that's what you was looking for, you might have to go hunting about to see if anyone else has got the code for it. I don't know it, unfortunately. But that's it for modding the Mac version of the client. So as long as you've done that, your browser now uses more RAM for RuneScape. Your client will also use more RAM for RuneScape and your client will also partially multi thread view. So obviously your client is obviously going to be better loading things up and it probably would be anyway even if you didn't do these mods to be totally honest. So there we go. Hopefully you found that useful and hopefully I've managed to explain that easily enough. Yeah, it's kind of weird not having the operating system and trying to explain what to do on another operating system. So let me know honestly if this did help you. Because if there's any way I can improve it, I will happily remake this video and make it a bit easier to follow. So yeah, with that said, hopefully you're now enjoying higher RAM and partial multi-threading on Mac. Good times. So until next time, people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.